I'm Rob. I'm the captain. And I'm still Rob. Are you still Rob? I'm definitely Rob. I and thought you were, that I thought you were is definitely the weekends. a Vox amplifier with a channel called Girth. Now, this is the new Vox Night Train. And before we start, I have to say there's only one context within which I would use the word girth. Yes. And it's not to describe an overdriven sound no. on a guitar amplifier. No. And as Chappers and Lee, it's yes. almost impossible for us to review an amplifier with a channel called Girth <laughs> so, without resorting to our basic childish British humor. Childish humor. Uh, yes. So we would like you at YouTube to overwhelmingly comment on this video a context within which you would use the word girth. Um, you know what you're asking them to do. <laughs> <laughs> you realise what's going to happen on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, let's talk about the updated new Night Train 2 series. So, Vox. We love Vox because they made an amp called the AC30 and the AC15 and they sound immense. Yes. Um, but they're a certain niche type of guitarist sort of sound. And a few years ago, they decided to, to make a tube amplifier called the Night Train, very much kind of off the back of the success that Orange were having with the Tiny Terra, uh, which was a sort of a more modern sounding, gainy sounding, but not metal, you know, like a, just a, here's a little amplifier and we're just gonna drive the shit out of it type sound. And it was cool. I don't think it ever really, I think it probably wasn't different enough to a Tiny Terra to well, this sort of is, really... We were having a chat about this earlier and I was saying, you know, I would just always have got a Tiny Terra over it because it was just better in my opinion and there was nothing better about that, the That's box. the thing, it wasn't that the Tiny Terra was better, it was just that it wasn't any worse. So yeah. like, why... Why would was, you bother yeah. getting a box too? So, obviously Night Train, they've tried to change things around a little bit with Night Train 2. It's still a very familiar kind of format, so we've got three tubes in the preamp. Um, and uh, two, a pair of EL84s in the power section. Uh, it's quite a bit more switchable than the old one. The old one was kind of turn it on, turn it up, go. This one now does have reverb, channel switching, two types of clean tone, a uh, bit of EQ. Um, comes in a, you know, do I like this? Well, I, I don't know, man. See, the name Night Train, it makes me think it's going to be kind of rock. Blues, and blues and maybe a bit of metal. I look at it and I think blues and I think jazz. I listen to it and I I, I can't I look place at it and I think um, luggage. I just can't place the look <laughs> with the sound. Yeah, it doesn't seem it's all right. Anyway, yeah. look. So it's this. You're right. It's 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 um. I'm sure. I'm sure in the fifties, and that's probably where they're going. You know, women would have had um like little hat. This just reminds me of like, like this, my know. Tom and Jerry lunchbox when I was a little boy. Yeah, maybe. I, had, I had my Dairyly triangles in. You know. But um, but it's got a Celestian Green uh, 12, uh, Celestian 12 GM uh, speaker in it. G12M, sorry, <laughs> words out. Um, <laughs> which is a great sounding kind of vintage speaker. It's um, it's compact and and um, it's not light, but it's no. not heavy. You know, I mean, it, it's the sort of amp that you pick up and go, well, that's obviously got some decent bits in it. Yes. Um, and it's sort of difficult, isn't it? I think when you've got a brand image as iconic as Vox... It's very and, difficult to break away from yeah, that I mean, thing. And lots of people... I mean, if you look at... It's one of the things I always think Marshall have been quite good at. It's like Marshall just look like Marshalls, no matter what yeah. they do. And Fender, when they've tried to... You know, Fenders, when they look like Fenders, people buy them. And when they go, here's an amp that doesn't look like a Fender, like the Machete. It was the best amp we'd ever reviewed that Great no one ever amplifier, bought. but it's like, yeah. it's not right, is it? So I'm not sure. But there you go. It's all subjective, isn't it? I actually think this looks okay. I'm not, not too worried about that. So... It's a tube amplifier, um, and we're going to start with the clean sound on its green mode, which they describe as, let me just see, oh, as, as in bright. This is the bright, sort of clean channel. So. On the neck pickup, just for extra. It's going to be fatter and warm. That's a good example of how a, a, a low wattage EL84 amplifier will 
have that slightly spongy, borderline farty kind of bass end sound if you if you use too much <coughs> sort of bass end. These it. are very high output yeah. humbuckers from Seymour Duncan. Here, um, so. so you can almost see it. it's like a little animal on the leash, isn't it? Kind of going, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Put me on a game town. Um, so it's kind of, let's do that. So we're, the first thing we're going to do is go over to the orange mode, which is called the thick mode, which is the sort of the driven clean channel. It's pretty loud, this. So here we go. <laughs> Pleasant growly sound. I think you can see this is definitely the genre this amplifier's getting into, isn't it? So um, that's the thick sound, and I think we'll probably do some extended playing at the end of this little section here. Um, we have got the EQ set on this, by the way, with again, we, we're rolling quite a lot of the bass end off again because it's recording better like that. It, again, just in the room, if you were just playing at home, you'd probably have a bit more bass end in. And we're just pushing the middle and the treble just a bit. Now, we're gonna rather go. embarrassingly, here we go. We're going for girth, ladies, beware. <laughs> switch that I can enable over here, which I was fiddling with earlier on. I actually prefer the gain sound with the dark switch in. So I'll Let's do that. that. Some like you know black crows, Lenny Kravitz, that kind of. Interestingly, from a player's point of view, this seems to react much nicer to the in-between humbucker mm. sound than does the humbuckers. It feels like I'm having to work really hard to play through the amp, and it, it has a slightly brittle overtone that I'm not too fond of. Yeah. But in the middle position, is that where it's a it slightly kind of, softer sound? It just kind of sort of embraces it in the middle, mm. and, it, and it seems to be like more harmonious of a tone. But on, on a humbucker either side. It doesn't, it, for me, it's not doing it. Mm, it let's... may just be, I, I have a feeling, this is the amp you drive hard. Well, let's see, um, I mean, it's, we'll, get, we'll give B a little warning here, uh, because we get, I'm gonna turn the, the volume up, and uh, this is the master volume, but I'm, but I'm not gonna gun it game uh, wise, so I'm gonna see what we can get the preamp to kind of cook yeah, yeah. like now. Uh, let's give it a go. <laughs>
Yeah, I just don't like it. This is, <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just not my kind of a tone. No. I mean, it, it is a, it's, it has it's a place, a but yeah. I can't place it in, in the sort of heavier blues rock territory, and I can't place it in the yeah. softer blues territory because it hasn't got that warm. Do you know what the, the, the um, I'm not convinced that the, the combo is the right format for the because I quite like some of the tones that we're getting as we're beginning to gun it. Yeah. But the combo can't, can't handle the, what you're going to do to it. See, what I want it to do is blues like mm. the Princeton would do with a nice pedal in front of it, a kind of warm, mm. fuzzy Clapton thing. Or I want it to be able to do the, the pushed preamp kind of heavy rock blues, yeah. black crows. Yeah. But it sits in between, for mm. me, in a kind of irritating place where it's neither of those styles. And I'm not hating on Vox because you know, AC30 and AC15 are yeah. like godly, incredible pieces of joy. Yeah. And, and I have owned an AC15 and was like, this is the holy grail till I found amps with two channels and more than 15 watts. But for me, I would, I would buy something else. That, that sat in either one I of those areas. I think I'd areas. like to, um, and I'm sure Vox have probably done some other videos of this, I, I would certainly see what the head and, and the cabinet was. But then again, I, I sort of think you're, if you're into the realms of buying heads and cabs, then, then, then clearly you're, you've got, you know, you probably are gigging. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, but let's see. You it know, might be the, better with the Strat in it. Let's see what happens there. Let's see what happens. Um, so let's just same set of tones. So we're going to go with a with a. Oh, hang on. Oh, what happened there? No, nothing. Right. Sorry. So okay. So clean. Clean. It's handling the bass end more. Yeah. It couldn't handle it with. Yeah, you're getting a much snappier, punchier, nicer yeah. bass end out of yeah. it with it with the single coil oh, yeah. than you are with the uh, humbucker. Let's go to the thick sound. Drop the volume a bit here. We still alright, B? Yeah. Okay. Very, very loud, mm. and to and Pretty if you, loud, and you yeah. wouldn't get that, to, oh, you wouldn't, uh, you know, wouldn't be able to use that. At home, no, you? but then I, I, that's because it we turned it up loud. Girth it, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> There's no point having an amp if you're going to play it that quiet, is there? No, it's got to be pushed a bit to, to get yeah. it to, to do its thing. Hasn't it's it? plasticky, brittly until you push it hard. Um, then it sounds great, but if you begin to get an amp to do that. I probably wouldn't do it. But so give it give us girth. We'll give it girth. Better we'll with the strap though for sure. Yeah, definitely. Lost something. I think I've turned it down too much. I need that. That's it. Yeah, I've I found a t I don't mind, I I quite like the thick uh, channel on the clean sound with the strap, struggling to to get something that I'm that's doing it for me on the on the dirty channel. But this is probably about as close as I'm going to get, you know, to that sort of dirty rock and roll kind of, you know. <laughs> I just wonder whether it, it, it takes a modern tone. So I've got one of Rabia's Chapman Sigs with a warp let's give, it, let's give it a go. And let's just see if the girth, I mean, it's called the Night Train. It's got a girth channel. So you'd think with the, with the names and it, it's right. gonna take So a, what we're doing now is we're gonna dial in a lot more preamp gain. And here we go.
So it's not handling really the output of the Warpig. Uh, it doesn't quite do it with the Strat, and for me, it didn't really do it with the Les Paul. So I'm kind of out. I mean, I, verdict's out for me. I, You're like I, the Dragon and Dragon's Day. I am a little I'm bit out. like that. And what I'm going to do. I would not put my money in on this uh, particular <laughs> other part. I know. <laughs> well, well, I think it's unfair for me to give this a mark out of 10. I wouldn't give it a mark out of 10. So I'm going to ask YouTube, what do you yeah, guys you think? Yeah, you mark it out of 10. And what do you think it's for? I mean, is it for blues? Is it for rock? Is it for metal? And, 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 and I must admit, I do feel bad here because Jabbers and I don't often do negative reviews and we love all the people that we work with and everybody makes cool products. Um, you know, everybody has cool products and Vox wouldn't be where they were if they didn't make cool products. And I feel a bit bad in that we've not really liked the Tone Garage pedal. But that's not our problem, Lee. Um, or, well, we have to be honest about what we do. But there's, there's going to be dudes... You know, and I'm sure experienced dudes in the design team on this that have probably like, yeah, this is the sound and it's I love it. Well, then that's and, awesome. And if they want to come here and, and get a wicked yeah. tone, well, I, do you know what? Then before you before you post on our video, let's get get a second opinion. Go to the Vox channel, look at the videos that they've done themselves on there, and you know, just say, look, you know, guys, you missed a trick or did something. Because I'm 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 all for the sort of you know, let's not just go well just because we didn't get a tone out of it no. doesn't mean it's necessary. But uh, but there you go. But you know, I mean, I kind of, I think, yeah, for me, this this is definitely an amp that's going. Please let me go into something a bit bigger than a one by twelve combo. Um, I think, uh, and and then I'm sure it's probably got a bit more of a roar and a bark to it. Yeah. Um, it may just be that it's more of a kind of indie strummy chord kind of oasis type thing. Possibly. And neither of us are really in that genre. Yeah, that's true. And so we, it wouldn't fit with us musically. So Lee, tell me, how much does this amplifier cost? Um, these are currently retailing in the UK for five ninety nine. Five ninety nine, uh, which is a bit more than you'd pay for um, some fifteen watt amplifiers, and I'm sure a bit less than what you'd pay for other fifteen watt amplifiers. Yes. Uh, but it's uh, yeah okay. So you're 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 gonna. Rabir's given this 5.7. I'm giving it 4. You're giving it 4. Yes. It's harsh. I feel kind of like... Don't feel. Just just think. That's the secret here, I think. I think that's the problem, isn't it? If I was a blues dude, well, not if, that's because that's what I am, then I would probably go, I could get a tone from this, and I could do a little piece with it, and I wouldn't embarrass myself. Didn't connect, but, though, did but it? But I would probably struggle to give this... I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Rabir's mark. I'm going to give it like a 5.7. There you go. I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain.